So this is a new method for creating really good printable versions of content that we supply to students in MOL. It's particularly useful for our distance learners. Um, so we provide each um, kind of week's content using a learning module and inside that learning module we tend to um, basically have a series of HTML pages that, that they, the students work through. So in the past it's been quite difficult to provide uh, the a printable PDF version of these HTML pages um, without having to sort of jump through lots of hoops. It was quite a time consuming process. We've got a new way of doing it which is really great. The other benefit is we used to have to use um, licensed software like Ac um, Adobe Acrobat uh, and uh, Adobe Dreamweaver to, to kind of basically help produce them. But now um, we don't need those pieces of software. We've got a, a way of doing it using um, an add-on in Firefox. So just to set the scene, basically here's uh, a series of weeks in a module, one of our mo uh, one of our modules, uh, and we have a link to a printable version. And when you click that, basically it opens. Um, something like this, so I can just zoom in, which is a pretty decent um, printable version of each page. So there's the first page, and if I scroll down, you know, there's the second page. It's what's quite nice is it has the kind of the page title at the beginning. It even tells you when it was created in the top right corner. That's nice. Um, and at the bottom of the page, it tells you the exact um, sort of the URL for that item in the content collection, which could be useful, and the page number. So that's all really good, the way it's doing that. I like the way it's laying it out. The font's nice. It manages to create, um, also embed the images, so that's nice from within the, uh, the content collection. Um, so just scrolling through, you get the general gist. It's, it's kind of, it's all very well rendered, really. The links are working, the images and everything. So, great. And let me just show you um, kind of how to produce one. Okay. Okay, so first of all, if you go to Firefox, and you do need to use Firefox for this, um, and if you go to the, so the settings menu and go to add-ons, you basically need to search for an add-on called, I think it's print for PDF, let me just um, search print PDF, so it's print pages to PDF, this is the one here, so I'm going to just install that, okay, so I'm going to skip now, okay, so it's installed, you do need to restart Firefox for it to take effect, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, it's now um, restarted and you get this page, just to tell you about the add-on you've just installed, I'm going to close that down. I'm now going to navigate to MOL. Okay, so I've navigated to uh, a module called HAR604 for Systematic Approaches to Evidence Assessment. Uh, and actually I've got a unit here, Unit 4, that does need a printable version creating. So um, this is a real life example. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is just have a quick look in the unit. So when I go inside there, you'll notice we've got 16 pages. I, I, I basically need to create those 16 pages of HTML uh, in, in, a, in a printable PDF using the new add-on. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go to the, the module's content collection. So I'm going to go down here. This is the easiest way, I think. Go to the actual 6044 content collection. Find the folder where the HTML files are. So it's actually um, week 6 in this case and it's unit 4. Um, so it's this lot here. And the way this actually works, the way the add-on works, is it enables you to um, basically c collect or collate a series of open tabs in your Firefox browser and convert them all very easily and quickly into one PDF document. So what I essentially need to do now is open each of the pages that I want to mer be merging into a PDF as a, as a separate tab, and um, it's, a, it's a little bit long-winded, although it's not too bad. You basically need to right-click on each one, open link in a new tab, and you'll notice at the top it's popped up there um, in the background, open link in a new tab, and I just need to go through each one like this. And I'm going to skip to the end, so you don't have to watch me doing this over and over again. Okay, I've now um, opened them all, so I've got all 16 tabs across the top. Um, and I'm ready to, to create my PDF. Before I do that, I just need to close down this first tab because I don't want this very first tab that I'm looking at now to be part of the printable version. So I'll just close that down and it will take me to the, the, kind of the first real page. Now you right click, it doesn't really matter where, and go print pages to PDF on the pop-up menu and you want to select print all tabs. Okay, And then it does this, which is like really quick. Uh, it basically merges them all. Um, it does super whizzy stuff that I don't fully understand. Um, and as you can see, really quick, it's finished, it's done it. It pops up with the actual PDF that you've got. Um, and you can see it's one of 16 pages, so it's just grabbed them all. I'm going to ignore the bookmarks here because I'm 
not entirely sure that A, that's accurate, or B, we need to worry about it. But the document itself looks good. We've got 16 pages, and just a quick scroll through, all seems to be rendered really nicely. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bit. And yeah, I'm just really impressed with the, the actual quality um, of what it creates, too. Um, you know, there's no... I mean, that image wasn't great um, quality to begin with, so it's not actually degraded that at all during this process. Um, and, yeah, that, again, is a table that wasn't that's slightly unusual, but that's how it's supposed to look in malls. So there's no there's no real um, problems that I've encountered yet in terms of actually converting uh, to the PDF format from HTML. So it all looks really good. So the final piece for me is this question of just basically saving this PDF somewhere. Um, so I'm going to just save it on my desktop for now. Aims and learning outcome. I'm going to call it, give it a new name, 6044 um, session, or unit 4, I think it's called. Unit 4. I tend to have a naming convention, just so they're all kind of the same, printable PDF. Save it there on my desktop. Um, and finally, it's a question of going back into Mole and uploading it. Now, there's a, quite a sneaky trick as well. If you go back to here, I've already closed the first tab, but if I do Control Shift and T, it will open up the last tab I closed um, after a few seconds, which is really cool. And then I can just basically navigate back to where I wanted to uh, to, to build this in. So it was actually, um, in this case, via Module Content, um, come on Mole, and then it was uh, Sessions for um, and it was basically this page. I just need to basically edit it and, and paste the link in like this. Edit. Um, I'm actually going to just highlight this link and I'm going to attach um, the PDF from the desktop. Browse my computer. OK, open. And I should really put alt text in just to be super accessible. Printable PDF. Um, click Submit. And there's the link. I can probably get rid of the available soon. I tend to put the date that it was created just because. And then submit. Um, and that's basically it. You can go back and click on the link. It will open that lovely PDF of all of the pages.